Kit, the problem is inflation, right? He's trying to set monetary policy where there's deflationary pressures still. In southern Europe, I'm thinking of Italy, and we're actually German as well above trend. Yeah, and, and he's, you know, he's also got, he's got inflationary pressures at a headline level, much, much, much more so than at a core level. He's got a global, he's got a European economy that's got, you know, 9.8% unemployment, so there's a lot of slack there, and there's also, I mean, just a big economic political problem to be solved. Um, so he's trying to, he's trying to buy the economy time by saying, I'm going to ignore this overshoot on the upside and headline inflation. I'm going to live with an economy that's growing reasonably fast in some places. We have bigger fish to fry over the medium term. Yeah, and Tom, we've been showing that chart where you see it to the versus, for example, Germany. Let me bring you over to another chart, uh, Kit, and this is basically core inflation versus underlying inflation. Where does this trend go? So you have uh, core inflation in white. Great chart. It's, uh, I, you know, that, that core line is going to edge higher. And when I say edge, I'm not getting myself excited about that going yeah. to 2% anytime soon. The, the, uh, and, if, and if you, you know, imagine the oil price, which the year-over-year -year low is going to come in February. We've got kind of a couple more months where the headline run really pushes up quite a lot, and then it'll slowly start tapering out over the course of the summer. Kit, the second derivative of German inflation, is that unique to Germany, or does that have to do with all of Europe? If I'm in France, if I'm in Finland, do I care about the acceleration that we're seeing in Germany? Um, I, you, you care about it if you think it's going to be sustained as a result of tightening economies across Europe, and, and but you know you need to see more of it. I mean, this is this is you know this is an animal that's alive, but but I, it's not running around in any great make, shape, or form. Uh, and it would be a desirable thing to have some more inflation in Germany to kind of help with the competitiveness of the rest of Europe. It would be desirable to have some more wage growth uh, to, to help with the competitiveness of the rest of Europe, and then. Um, so uh, I don't think we worry unless it becomes right. a much bigger story. So it's got a long way right. to go. I mean, it, but, but Germans right. will worry. Kit, I made so much money on my bet on St. Thomas and the Patriots that I really don't need to make a trade today. Help the Atlantaites. Where do we make money this morning? Uh, I think we're going to make money at the moment by watching markets kind of go, go sideways. So we're not going to be buying a lot of volatility. I am selling the euro on the basis of, of the, the increased political uncertainty that we have around at the moment. But um, you know, we, we, are, we are in a holding pattern now after that right. big Trump move and the correction we've had. And we're, we're just stuck here for a few days. I'm finding it tough.